<laughs> well, well, well. Well, 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 well. You're sitting at this bar all alone. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of late to be sitting alone, isn't it? What, did you go through a breakup? Did you lose all your money to gambling? <laughs> Those people at this tavern can be a little tricky with their fingers, if you know what I mean. But hey, you know what? Today's your lucky day. <laughs> I just got a bottle of dandelion wine. And <laughs> I guess I'm a little gracious today. So I'll let you have a glass, okay? Let's get these two mugs. I'll give you this one, okay? And I'll pour myself a nice glass with this. And we'll share a drink together, all right? <laughs> that should clear up your worries right away, wouldn't it? Okay, now I got this, and let's... sitting alone after all. <laughs> That's good enough. Here you go. Let me just put it right next to you, okay? Drink up. As for myself. <laughs> Got my own nice glass. Look at this glass. It's cute, isn't it? <laughs> it's perfect, huh? How to cheers, right? Come on, I'm your new drinking buddy. You can't just not cheers after you've gotten your own drink, right? So, here, I'll help you. I'll hold your hand, right? Okay. <laughs> cheers! There you go. Now, you're allowed to drink it. And I'll drink mine too. Nothing like dandelion wine is there. It's truly the most exquisite alcohol in all of Tevat. <laughs> Even Leeway can't beat it. And Leeway has some pretty good stuff. I would say their teas are probably better though. <laughs> you've got the alcohol going in your system. Do you mind actually telling me what's on your mind? <laughs> I know it's kind of a vague question, but let's narrow it down a bit. What sort of things are you worried about lately? Hmm. <laughs> I, I won't judge, you know what? <laughs> We all have different problems, don't we? And honestly, I think that those problems are pretty... I mean, they make a lot of sense, right? You're surely not the only person dealing with those. There's a lot of different people that go through a lot of different emotions, and I think that they're probably pretty similar to yours, right? Right. <laughs> So don't feel alone in that regard. Though I guess it can be a little concerning if you 
think that there's a bunch of people out there because sometimes problems take a little bit to cure, right? There are some things that might never cure. And uh, I guess you just have to be okay with that. <laughs> I guess for me, a long time ago, I lost someone who was very close to me. And, well, I'm not excusing my behavior now, but, you know, it, it, it makes you into what you act like and look like now. A little struggle really does help a person to become what they are. Otherwise, I guess, you wouldn't have gone through the struggle to begin with. You wouldn't be you without it. Which, as horrible as it sounds with some of the really hard struggles, it is a little comforting to know that at least you've gotten some benefit from it. <laughs> like, I wouldn't have this nice sense of fashion if not for my friend. <laughs> well, have I helped ya? <laughs> A little bit. Or are you more curious about my bunny outfit? <laughs> what? You know what? They asked me to help around being a waiter at the tavern. So, I heard that you could get some more tips. And it's not like this is the cat's tails, right? So, I don't need any cat ears. <laughs> well, <laughs> I know it's a little silly that a waiter is drinking with you, but I think our conversation is our tip enough, master, so it should be okay. <laughs> about halfway done with mine. What about you? I'm gonna check. You've barely drank in any. Come on, drink up, drink up. <laughs> I didn't buy that whole bottle of dandelion wine for nothing. Come on. I used almost half of it on you. Be thankful, okay? <laughs> I see enough value in you to let you drink some of my precious dandelion wine. <laughs> mean that you're a pretty good person. Well, let's lighten the mood a bit. What are some things that have been going well in your life? Do you have any? Mm. <laughs> I would say those are pretty good. They can be insignificant or really large and both can lift your spirits, right? Like today, I saw the most beautiful dandelion blowing in the breeze. I really do like dandelions, you know. For some reason, looking at them makes me feel stronger. How something so small turns into something before it turns into its final form. And then eventually that final form goes away. <laughs> but it's all for use for the plant, right? So, can't feel too sad about it. <sighs> Say, what's your favorite animal? If you say bunny right now, you're being very typical. <laughs> Okay, truthfully. Mm. Okay, well, I'll respect that choice. My favorite animal is the dragon. <laughs> like a nice big one with beautiful blues and maybe some white too. Isn't that a pretty dragon? <laughs> I know it is. <laughs> Alright. Only got a little 
little bit in here, but it's enough for a little bit more conversation, right? Now tell me, traveler, are you actually a big traveler? Have you gone a lot of places? If you have, can you describe some of the places for me? I don't go out very much, out of my own territory, I mean, so it would be nice to hear it. to this beautiful um, uh, territory of Mondstadt. I don't often get out. I only get out for big events, really. Which is too big of a shame. I wish that a traveler would take me on a nice... <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm rambling again, but hey, if you ever see me available, maybe take me on an adventure sometime. <laughs> See that? I told you I don't have that much. Just a little bit. Oh, it smells so good though. You know, this is one of <laughs> my very favorite things to come out of Mondstadt. Dandelion wine from the Dawn Winery. <laughs> I've, I'm very proud that you know, look at the dandelion seeds. You wouldn't think that something like this would come out of that, but here it is. It's amazing how such fabulous things can come out of such unassuming and small things. I guess is what I meant to say. <laughs> think that fabulous things can come out of small things? Or do you think that only big things can spawn other big things? I will play devil's advocate. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Well, that was pretty good. I have to say that. <laughs> sips left. It's kind of unfortunate. I was uh, enjoying our conversation. But you know, since I'm acting as a waiter here, I can always go and get us another bottle if you want. <laughs> Would you want to? Are you liking our conversation? I've been told I'm pretty good at telling stories. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm actually a bard, so that's kind of my job. Telling stories, preserving stories, making sure the townspeople know of heroes past, present, and future. I wonder if you'll be one of the heroes that I'll sing about. <laughs> Only time will tell, right? And when you get old, I'll make sure to sing about you. Man, that is the stuff. <sighs> Let me check your progress. Let me check your progress. Oh. Okay, you're almost done too. So drink up, finish up. I'll watch ya. <laughs> okay. Well, now that you're done, 
shall I go get us another bottle? Alright. <laughs> 